Hi everyone. The phase two of our team's project will be focused on microscope image super-resolution. Our task will be clearly divided into three parts based on their different risk levels. The data set we will be used is the same as the phase one. We will use around 3,000 images for the training and the testing, and they are both microscope images of neural tissues. The first method our team will be adopted is based on deep convolutional neural nets. It is of the lowest risk level because we will be use a traditional sparse coding based method. We will try to learn an end-to-end -end mapping between the low and the high resolution images, and the mapping will be non-linear, and it is well noted that we will try to train the same image from different color channels separately and simultaneously. In our level 2, we will imply the image resolution models by transformer method. The most famous transform models in the image resolution study field is called the hybrid attention transformer, which is also called HIT. Comparing with the traditional convolutional neural network models, the transformer models are able to crutch more neighbor shallow to, for the learning. And uh, this model has not yet been tried on the 3D electron microscope image, so it's more challenging than the previous approach. As we showed before, our database is uh, a lot of TIF images. Well, the, in the TIF images are lots of slides for a cell, but if we treat each slide as a form of a video, of a video we can treat a TIF image as a video through the time. So in our level 3, we will apply video super revolution models. Is based on a uh, subpixel CNN models because this method was originally applied on the video processing. Is the will be our most challenging one to a track of a problem. And that's it. That's all of our project. Thank you.